Hey, what's going on everyone? Tony here, another review. This one on the, I don't know if it's really well known. I mean, I think it's well known, but if it's not, it should be more well known because this is a great movie. Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon. I hope the glare isn't too bad. I have no idea if it is or not. But uh, this is the, the Blu-ray of it. And uh, very good movie. Very, very good movie. Um, I can only think of the lead actor's name. His name is Nathan Bales. And uh, I've actually met him at his very first con horror convention um, in Jersey, in New Jersey. And he's a... He's a, he's a really nice guy. I think he was a little nervous because it was his first one. But I made the comment of them. I said, I said, you know, I saw this on Netflix. And I thought, I'll, I'll take a chance. I'll watch it. And I said, I thought it was great. And, you know, I'm so glad I watched it. And he just, he had a big smile on his face. He was very grateful. Even his assistant was like, wow, that's really nice. That's awesome. That, you know, super nice guy. Um, very shy, but um, like I said, it was his first one. I don't think he knew, knew to, what to expect. I guess he didn't think he'd have the following that he, that he did. They're in the process of making another one of these. Um, but basically what this is, he is a serial killer. Not a serial killer. I shouldn't say that. He's a like like a Jason or a Freddy. He's, they're the ones he, that he look, they look up at. Uh, look up to and there's this crew from from a school from a like a college or whatever and they're falling around and they're gonna do like a kind of like a documentary like he explains to them how he does this like like a, in the beginning it shows the girl going out for gar to take the garbage out and the door swings shut and then she thinks she sees him in the corner and then it shows how he does that like how uh, how like somebody that like a slasher in the movie like a, like like a Jason Voorhees or whatever, would do this kind of thing where the door would shut and he just takes them on and he tells them, he shows them his house, like how what's going to happen this night, these teenagers are going to come here and this is going to happen, he's going to do this, and it falls them around. But the cool thing about this is, like, when they're, it's, it's like a camera, like you're, like, like a documentary looking camera thing. <laughs> yep. And, uh, it's like, yeah, it looks like like a like a camera crew documentary. They they sort of they talk to the other guys in the crew, but not too much at first, and um, they they follow him around. And he's telling them how this scene's gonna go, and then when it does go, it's like an actual movie. Like it looks like like the uh, like it doesn't look like the camera following him around, and I thought that was really cool how they did that. And um, then after that part, it'll show like them, like him, like say he runs out of the. He's like, "Oh my God, did you see that? That was great, you know." And then it's back to the documentary. It's just it was real. It's really a, a good idea. It was a different change for horror slasher movies, and uh, it ha it has uh, Robert England in it, and Jay and uh, Kane Hodder has a little little spot in it, which if you know what I'm talking about, I thought that was kind of funny like the house he's going into, uh, that was kind of neat, um, but, th yeah, this is, this is really good, it ha oh, it has that, uh, the late Zelda Rubenstein, Stein, I don't know how you say, S Rubenstein, I'm gonna say, from Poltergeist, every time I want to say Poltergeist, I, I almost say Poltergeist, I think Moods616 said that he does that, I think it was him, and, now it's thank you trauma for ever having the word poultrygeist lodges in my brain instead of poltergeist but <laughs> but yeah that's that's another movie and uh, I always talk about different movies in my reviews of a movie but I whatever I just get excited and uh, yeah I actually ordered this I ordered this on Amazon for cheap and uh, it's definitely worth it I don't know if it's just me. I want to ask anybody else out there that has this. Is there no menu to this? The movie just starts and when it ends it just restarts the movie again? Or is it just my copy? It doesn't say on the back that there is any menus. But then again, I might have just had a certain copy that only does that. But, I mean, if not, whatever. It's the movie. But 
I was hoping there would be like a, a behind the scenes. I mean, this is behind the mask. But, uh, yeah, and this is just a good movie. It's, uh, I think it, I don't know if it's still on Netflix to watch. So if you want to take a watch on there, I mean, you can find it on the internet just to watch. But it's not expensive. It's, it's cheap to buy. It's definitely worth having in your horror collection. Great twist. Twi I, I don't like saying that there is a twist because then you're expecting a twist. But there's a twist. And it, it's it's really good. Um, but because this is one of my... This is probably one of my favorite... Uh, I guess I could put it horror slash documentary type movies. Definitely way surpasses Paranormal Activity. The I don't even... I like Paranormal Activity. Paranormal Activity, but like after you watch it two or three times, it loses it. But uh, this movie I really enjoyed so much that I just had to have a Leslie Vernon doll. Oh yeah, the, by the way, the guy, the character he calls by is Leslie Vernon. But this, this is what his, what he looks like. I had this specially made for me, for me. And I, I'm gonna butcher the name. Tashi Custom Design. Oh my god. I'm going to have all the information below. But the girl who makes this, her name is Natasha. Hello, Natasha. Thank you very much. Um, and he, look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Isn't that cool? It's sewn. She makes these by hand. Um, she does a very good job. There's blood on. She even has a little rip, rip in his shirt. She has, he has blood all over. Look at Very, very good. This isn't the first one I bought off of her. I actually have a couple more dolls or plushies. I call them dolls. As I, I don't know. But they're plushies. But she does really, really good work. Um, I have a few dolls. I actually have, because I play guitar, I have a few dolls of her, of me, that she made, like, probably some of her earlier work uh, definitely some of her earlier work I should say and she just keeps getting better and better with each one she made like she made me this I had her make for my wife uh, a bunch of Doctor Who figures uh, well I should say figures uh, plushies and uh, I was going to show them but I forgot to bring them over but on her site you'll see it has it she has like all the pictures of the ones she made and uh mine's in there I, like she made me she actually made a TARDIS for a TARDIS for me with uh, David Tennant and which is the tenth doctor uh Jack Barrowman which is Captain Jack Harkness and Rose Tyler which is Billy Piper I had her make all them for my wife and they now they sit over there and this is her first actually uh, her first horror one that she made and so being that she did such a, a cool job on this she's going to be making me more I already told her you're going to make me Freddy you're gonna make me a uh, Jason uh, there's talks about having a Chucky um, but I said I want the original Chucky not the one where his face is all fucked up I want the original so I, I'm gonna get a good guy doll <laughs> uh, plushie good guy plushie and uh, there's just so many more than I want and she does such a good job and reasonable prices and she gets them out fast um, definitely worth checking it out she does um, amazing work I mean she sews this and I see many a posts that she put that she her hands are killing her because of, she has to um, sew and but she's you know she's dedicated to getting her work done and she she has to get it done so there it is but there you he does not look like me I'm sorry I had somebody comment saying he looks like me it's not me he is cute but it's not me I have dolls of me this is not me yes that's kinda of weird isn't it I have dolls of me <laughs> like I play with myself sometimes <laughs> I do but anyway yeah, like I said, great movie. Yeah, great movie, great doll. Uh, 
two excellent pickups, both the movie and going to her site. Uh, like I said, all the information for her is going to be below. And uh, tell her I sent you over there. I'm not saying you're going to get a discount, but I'm sure she appreciates seeing where you heard from, heard about her site. And uh, anyway, yeah, that's my review on Behind the Mask and uh, and the uh, the doll, the plushie. But uh, thanks again for everybody watching. If you like this video, thumbs up. Give me a comment below. I love here. I love reading comments. Uh, I've had nothing but positive so far in all my videos. I've had one negative, one negative thumbs down. I don't know why, but I did. But uh, I get a lot of views anymore, uh, and for me, a lot of views is like 50, 60 views. And being that I have 57 subscribers, I know some of them might come in from YouTube. I'd like to see a comment from everybody. Let me know what you thought about this movie. What your reaction was the first time you saw it, whether you liked it or not. I know a few people are, they actually say like, you know, if they don't like the movie or if they think eh, it was okay. I, I put on a lot of movies that I like. This is one of them. And I said that a hundred times. And this is the end of the video. Thank you everybody for watching and talk to you later. Bye.